you from buying or selling a house, we may have some good news for you. Action News reporter Becky Gordon tells us it's now possible to obtain a no-interest mortgage. Ads for the no-interest mortgages appeared for the first time in Sunday's newspapers. Developers say the no-interest mortgage is essentially a common-sense idea that's time has come. The mortgages, by going to 16, 17 percent interest, are not competitive anymore in the selling of new homes or uh, resale homes because you can give a short-term mortgage with basically the same kind of monthly payments. You have to realize that when you pay 17 percent mortgages, the monthly payment is very high. If you cut that down to, let's say, five or six years with no interest, the monthly payments would be almost identical. Let's say you're buying a $110,000 home at current interest rates on a 30-year term with $50,000 down. By the time you're finished paying for that home, the total cost is nearly $360,000. With the no-interest plan, the mortgage on that same home held for five years and five months with the same $50,000 down results in a total cost of just $110,000. That's a savings of about $250,000 over the conventional mortgage. Although payments in this instance are about $70 a month higher on the no-interest mortgage, proponents say it will probably appeal to about 25% of the people currently looking to buy homes. People that have sold a house that they own for, let's say, five or six years, and they have anywhere between twenty-five dollars and $50,000 for down payment. Becky Gordon, Action News, Dunedin. Well, the no mortgage interest is, or the no interest mortgage is just one of the ways the housing industry is trying to make buying a home more affordable. With us now is Buzz Rommel. He's vice president of the Florida Federal Savings and Loan. Buzz, uh, the skeptical home buyer would probably ask a lot of questions, but this almost sounds a little too good to be true. What is your reaction to it? Uh, I'm not familiar with this specific program, but there really is no such thing as a free lunch. Uh, money is extremely expensive and there are a lot of different plans available today and more and more becoming available every day for home financing and uh, well, hopefully it hopefully it's a sound we plan. hope and we can't we that, can't really though. question it too seriously because we uh, don't know all the details that's of this right. plan it may in fact be a, a good deal but uh, inherent in this is some kind of criticism of the banks and savings and loan uh, institutions because possibly they have been costing home buyers a lot of money and interest so what is the solution to that uh, the solution really is in Washington and it's, uh, it's in the budget in Washington, it's at the Federal Reserve Board, it's at, uh, at this level. Is this a threat to banks and to savings and loan institutions, this type of uh, non-bank, non-savings and loan generated package? Uh, I don't think it is, really, because there, there's too much of a demand. And if someone else can help fill that demand, in addition to the banks and savings and loans, I think it uh, is a very positive mm -hmm. approach. Uh, right now, I, I do believe the banks and SNLs are doing the best that they can do. Uh, under the circumstances that are inflicted upon them. Okay, Buzz, thank you very much for joining us. Buzz Rummel, Vice President of Florida Federal.